Welcome to Statistics Learning Center. I'm Dr. Nick. I'm going to show you how teachers can use our videos and quizzes to help students learn statistical concepts. We have found this combination of video and quiz to be really helpful in getting students to think about, learn and reinforce concepts in statistics. First, you show a video to the class. For this example, we will use the Understanding Summary Statistics video. The video is five minutes long. Rather than just show the video from beginning to end, it is good to stop at various places and discuss with the class what has been covered. For example, you might stop at 30 seconds and clarify that students know what variables and observations are. You could also pause and discuss the shoe graph at 33 seconds. It is based on real data. You might like to ask the students how many pairs of shoes they own, or their parents. At 46 seconds, Dr. Nick says that you should always use graphs to analyse and explore the data. This is a good thing to ask the students about. At 1 minute 43, the video asks, what would be a typical number? You could pause and ask the students that. Maybe they could write it down. And so on. A short video can take much longer than its actual length to play, maybe even a whole lesson period. By pausing the video and discussing, you model a good tactic for the students when learning from videos on their own. If the students have individual access, they could watch the video again in their own time and at their own pace. When students pause to reflect, they are more actively engaged, which leads to better learning. Now let's take a look at the quiz, which also encourages active engagement. The quizzes are written to work in parallel with the videos, covering the same concepts in the same order. Sometimes the quiz takes a concept a little bit further than the video does. The quiz format encourages more active learning than simply reading or copying down notes. We have found that true-false questions are helpful for challenging misconceptions and developing vocabulary. You can use the quiz as a way to structure class discussion. For example, the first question in this quiz is about the purpose of summary statistics and states. Summary statistics tell us about each specific observation and how it fits with the general distribution. You can ask the students to vote on whether they think a statement is true or false. If the class is divided, this provides an opportunity for discussion. If you choose the correct answer, the response is coloured green. If your answer is incorrect, the response is a pinkish-red colour. Either way, it is a good idea to read aloud the feedback to the class, as there is often a useful explanation or clarification. The explanation is the same for either response. Sometimes it is good to give the wrong answer. This helps to uncover misconceptions and models reading the explanation for the students. The statement says, When we have a database, we often wish to summarise the distributions of each of the observations. That sounds plausible, so we select true. However, it isn't. So, we look at the feedback to find out where we went wrong. It says, No, this statement is false. Each observation may have multiple measurements for the different variables, but we would not normally look at the distribution of the values associated with each observation. For example, an observation might be a person, and the variables might be height, weight, and number of pairs of shoes they owned. We wouldn't summarise these values for each person. The feedback can lead to more discussion in the class. We need to reinforce with the students that getting a question wrong is an opportunity to learn rather than a failure. The questions and feedback have been carefully written bearing in mind common misconceptions. The questions are not intended to be trick questions. Where the questions are tricky, it is because the concepts are commonly confused. Each time we repeat the quiz, we will get a different combination of questions. There are generally four different questions for each of the ten question slots, and these are randomly selected each time the quiz is started. Teachers can also set these quizzes for self-study, 
Students can attempt the quizzes over and over until they reach a certain result, such as 80% or even 100%. We have found that these quizzes help learning as they reinforce the concepts from the videos and elaborate on them. The quizzes challenge students in correct thinking. And the quizzes provide practice using the specific vocabulary for statistics. Of course, there are many ways you can use the videos and quizzes, and there are also notes to print out for many of our videos. These resources provide multiple opportunities to engage actively in learning statistical concepts, which is what Statistics Learning Centre materials are designed to do. Email us at info at statslc.com if you would like to know more about our resources or visit our website at statslc.com or our shop at shop.statslc.com.